hello everybody welcome back to my channel if you are new here welcome if you are a returning subscriber or returning viewer thank you so much for tuning in today um before we go ahead and get to this video i want to invite you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also while you're at it go ahead and hit the notification bell so that way you will be updated every time that i upload a new video because you don't want to get lost in the sauce okay you don't want to miss these videos all right now that we have that out the way let's get into this video. what I currently uh, have in my hair right now. Not bobs like that you wear um, as, as far as the hairstyle, but bobs as in black owned businesses. Yes, we are talking about black owned businesses, typically small businesses that I've had the opportunity to support these last couple of months. I went on a little shopping spree because I mean, hey, I was stuck inside, it wasn't nothing else to do, so I might as well shop, right? And what better way to do it than to shop with my own people? So I wanted to just kind of highlight um, these businesses and bring some awareness to their businesses so that way you can go ahead and shop with them too because I got some really nice stuff, y'all, and I don't want y'all to miss this. But the first business that I want to highlight on today's video is my very own business urban culture apparel um i have been in business for about two years now i'm um, going on my third year in business yes things have been a little rocky but you know i'm getting back into the group of things being in quarantine has allowed me um more time uh to actually focus on my business so y'all be on the lookout for that make sure you shop my website shop urbanculturealapparel.com follow me on the gram um which it was in my intro uh earlier today but i'll go ahead and leave that right here on the screen urban culture apparel underscore follow my business on the gram twitter facebook all of that good stuff and also you can get you one of these cute shirts ladies this one says i was born a queen respect my crown i hope that you can see that um guys i also have something for you um and just be on the lookout for some new merch that is getting ready to drop if not by the end of the summer definitely this fall i will be dropping some new merch so you guys just be on the lookout for that and make sure when you go to my website go ahead and sign up for my mailing list so that way I can email you personally every time that I get ready to drop some new merch and you will be all in the mix and you won't get lost in the south here we go so um I, I went like I told y'all I went on a shopping spree and I bought like a whole bunch of stuff um so I kind of had to separate everything into like categories so the first category that I'm going to be uh showing you guys today is like the scents category um and I when I say scents I mean like scents like sensories like smells candles and things like that so the first business that I want to start off uh in the sensory category is Ride Fresh. Ride Fresh is um, is a black owned car freshener company. So I actually saw their uh, I saw their advertisement or their ad on Instagram one day and I just I was like let me click on it let me see what is this so I looked at it and I saw that they were a black owned company that developed their own um, car air fresheners. I haven't had a chance to open them because these are the sample packs. Um, I want to say that their subscription is like $5 a month. So you pay $5 a month or something like that. Um, and they send you like two or three different uh, scents every month uh, for your car freshener. So, um, but I'll leave all their stuff on the screen and I'll also leave their business and all their links in the description box below so that you can check them out. But I didn't want to open them just yet because I don't know how long the scents last and I didn't want, and I, currently don't have my car right now so i didn't want to open them and um and then like the scent they kind of just kind of go away but the two that i got in my sample pack was is vanilla and new car new car scent so these are the two right here and these were actually free i only paid i think 2.95 for shipping so i think they give you like two free samples but you only have to pay for shipping which i mean it's not bad to try it out because a lot of times a lot of companies don't allow you to try out or to test out their products before you know you make a purchase so that was really good but yes this company is called ride fresh 
Um, and like I said, I'll leave all their information in the description box below. Um, but let me see if I could just kind of, I wish they had like a scratch and sniff so you can smell it. But let me see if I could just kind of crack it up without, without completely opening it. Ooh. Y'all, this smells good. This smells good. It smells like it smells like vanilla, like vanilla ice cream. I'm not, and I'm not big on the vanilla scent, but this reminds me of like vanilla ice cream or something. I like this one. Okay, let me see if I can like partially open this one as well. This is definitely a new car smell. So, okay, so this is comparable to black ice. So for my guys, if y'all like uh, black ice, I'm a big fan of the black ice uh, air freshener as well, or the black ice scent. So if you are a fan of the black ice scent, I would definitely suggest you uh, going to Ride Fresh and uh, yeah, purchasing the new car scent because this one is comparable to uh, black ice. So yes, Ride Fresh, new car scent, that's like one of the best ones. Um, for my ladies, if you want something a little lighter, definitely go with vanilla, but they also have other scents. I want to say another one is like, uh, don't give me the line. Um, I think another one is like lavender or something like that. But like I said, I'll leave all their stuff, all their information in the description box below so you can go ahead and check them out. But yes, these two samples, Rye Fresh, y'all did good with these. So the next company that I have up for uh, my sensory category is Aroma and Flow. And uh, these are candles. I love these. I actually ordered four of these. Um, I ordered four of these candles, but I already burnt, burned one because I was too impatient and I couldn't wait. Um, and I, when I opened it, it just smells so good. The one that I uh, that I'm currently burning right now is called Surrender, um, and that is one of my favorite scents. It just gives me like I don't know, like it makes you surrender. Like it's it's kind of hard to describe the scent, um, but it's very like soothing if that makes sense. Um, and I actually burned the candle all the way down, and all I had was the wax left so i scooped the wax out of the uh out of the the container here and i put it on my uh, my wax milk burners and i just put like a little small tea light candle in it. and i actually have one um in my restroom and one in my kitchen so i like them both um especially at night after i have you know completed all of my work for the day or if i've had a rough day i come home and i light that candle and it just um brings like a calming scent to my home and i really appreciate that the other um the other fragrances that I did purchase was Intuition, Aphrodisiac, and Awakening. And these are the four ounce uh the four ounce candles. But you can also purchase them. I, I want to say they have them in like 10 ounce, but I'll also leave all of that information across the screen here and leave it in the description box below so that you can check her out. Um, it's The company is owned by a young lady uh, by the name of Flo, and she is such a sweetheart. I got a chance to meet her um, at a birthday dinner for a mutual friend of ours, and her energy was just amazing. She's also, she developed her, um, her business from the aspect of mental health and self and self care. So I'm assuming that's where the names come from, but you definitely need to check out her website. And I wish you guys can smell these scents because they smell so, so good. So next up for the sensory category, I do have another candle. And also, um, I just wanna point this out. I did purchase a lot of these things from Black Market Houston. And um, Black Market Houston is like a local flea market for black owned businesses um, here in Houston. So if you, if you live in the Houston area or if you are traveling to the Houston area, um, it used to be, they used to hold it like every first Friday of the month, but I wanna say that they do it every Friday of the month now. So definitely if you are not from Houston, but you are traveling, here to Houston, definitely check Black Market Houston out for sure. Um, if you want to shop with local vendors and just see who has you know a business in the area, you never know. It's a great networking opportunity. When I first started my business, 
um, I was a vendor there like every month. I would sign up and I would, you know, bring my stuff there. It was a great opportunity for me to, you know, uh, bring more awareness to uh, my brand and also just to meet my customers. Uh, because a lot of times when you're in e-commerce, then you don't get a chance to be more hands-on with your customers or you don't get a chance to see them. They don't see you. They don't really know who's behind the brand. So it was very interactive for me and it gave me the opportunity to actually talk to my customers or future consumers and just explain a little bit of, a little bit more about my brand and people were more receptive to that and they were more willing to purchase from me and I actually had a lot of return customers from that as well. So like I said, if you are in the Houston area or if you are traveling to the Houston area, definitely check out Black Market Houston. I'll go ahead and leave their information in the description box below and I'll go ahead and put it across the screen right now um so that way you can check them out get your tickets for Eventbrite and just shop with your you know shop with your big handle it's from I don't want to mess this name up so I'm just gonna put it here <laughs> I hope y'all can see that and the candle is called Solitude I'm going to put the uh the name of the brand across the screen because I don't want to mess it up uh, so I'm just not going to say it or whatever but this is from the self-ish collection so it says self-ish collection it says hand poured in Sugarland Texas so the owner is local um it's 100% soy wax um and this uh is the 11 ounce candle and it's called solitude I love the imagery that's on the front of the candle it just makes me want to you know send out somewhere you know oh my god i wish we had smell o vision so y'all can smell this and it is a wood a wood wax or a wood wick candle thing i don't know what to call that but it's instead of the the uh traditional wick it's like the wood wick in the middle so i don't know if y'all can see that i hope y'all can see that but yes i will leave all of her information in the description box below so you guys can check her out as well this is my last uh my last candle in the sensory collection but this one is called Wix, Wix Century. Wix Century is a natural soil candle and the scent is called Motion of the Ocean. Motion of the Ocean. This one is a double wick, a double wick candle, which means that you're gonna smell the scent a lot quicker. Um, when it's double wick, I've noticed that when I buy like the two wick or the three wick candles, um, normally from Bath and Body Works, I'm trying to get away from that. Um, and support, you know, my black brothers and sisters that have candle companies. Um, but I've noticed when you have two to three wick candles, then the, the scent, it kind of, you know, um, you smell the scent quicker in your home. But then, ooh, ooh, ooh. I can't really pinpoint like what I smell. But just know that it smells good. And, and honestly, y'all, I'm not just gassing these scents at all. I have a very sensitive nose. A lot of my friends say that I was probably a hound dog in my past life, uh, which is probably true because I have a very sensitive nose. I smell things that other people don't smell. So, and I'm and trust me, if it smell bad, like, yeah, I, w I will let y'all know. But, um, <laughs> yes, Wick Century, um, very good candle, Motion in the Ocean. And there was another one that I smelled while I was there at Black Market Houston um, from this collection. I just can't remember the name, but definitely check her out. I will leave her name across the screen. Um, and I'm saying her, but the owner is a female. But I will leave their name, their business name, and their information where you can find them on the screen right here. And also, I'll leave their information in the description box below. But definitely check them out. Moving on to the next category, I have jewelry and accessories. So I did while I was, and this is another vendor from Black Market Houston. I think this was like the first person that I purchased something from um, the last time I went. And I want to say, I don't have their card, but I think it's called Angel Scent Bracelets. Um, and I'll go ahead, I'll look back at my uh, my transaction receipts or whatever, and I'll leave the information in the description box below and right here across the screen. But I did pick up this really cute bracelet. I hope y'all can see this. Let me take it off. Let me take it off. It's black, brown, and gold. But this is the bracelet. It comes with a Black Girl Magic charm and, of course, the NOLA charm on there. Y'all know I'm from New Orleans, so, of course, anytime I get a chance to rep and put on for my city, I will. He had a whole lot of bracelets. A lot of um, 
when I was there, I saw a lot of just regular beaded bracelets, which were beautiful. And then there were some for sorority. And I wanna say that she had some for men as well. Um, I, and I think I have a clip from the day when I was at Black Market Houston. If I do, I'll go ahead and insert that right here. So that way you can see a little bit of her collection that she had, but the lady was really, really sweet. Um, and I can't remember how much I paid for this bracelet. Um, yeah, but I'll leave all of her information in this video somewhere so that way y'all can check her out. But I just love this bracelet so much. And I do, I am gonna order another one because I need to order one for my mom because she likes stuff like this in this category. I have Quiet Storm, Quiet Storm Designs. So here's the card right here. And I've actually purchased uh, quite a few pairs of earrings from this uh, from this young lady. It's unique, one of a kind, handcrafted, hand painted jewelry and accessories. Um, and like I said, I've purchased quite a few things uh, from this person, but this particular time I only purchased, I think like two pairs of earrings. This one is the African continent earrings in green. Hope y'all can see that. And this other pair, I thought this was so cute. When I saw this, I just had to get these. I could not pass this up. It says short, thick, and chocolate. And it, that is definitely me. For sure i am short thick and i am for sure 100 percent chocolate okay but i thought that these were really cute and I put, of course i needed some more green earrings and what better way to put on baby put on for for my people okay so oh yes i love these earrings and i think another pair that i purchased from her a while ago was like uh the music notes my name is symphony so when i see jewelry that has like music notes or whatever i have to get it because it just it makes sense duh. but yes i will leave all of her information right here on the screen and also in the description box below so definitely check out quiet song designs um she had a few other earrings that i liked as well a lot of them were like um I want to say that she had like some earrings with Angela Davis on it, um, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., Malcolm X, uh, a lot of black power type earrings and jewelry and stuff like that. So definitely check her out if you are looking for like statement piece earrings or like statement piece jewelry. Um, definitely, definitely, definitely check her out. Firestorm Designs. And she has like earrings that range from like small medium large extra large so definitely check her out and if you are in the houston area definitely stop by black market houston because i know that she's usually there i want to say like every uh every weekend or probably like every month she's there so definitely check her out um and check out her site and everything like that so you can get you some cute statement piece earrings okay so next up on my black owned business haul is i decide clothing brand and this is one of my favorite brands because it is uh, owned by one of my best friends, Christopher Butler Day. Um, I had to purchase one of his hats. I've purchased things from him in the past, but yes, this by far is one of my favorite designs. Um, with his, it's just a distressed denim hat with his logo on it. I thought y'all could see that. And in my package, um, he did put two of these wristbands, the I Decide Clothing Company wristbands in there. He got to put this on without. Messing up my hair or whatnot. Y'all got to be head. The drip do y'all see the drip do y'all see it so you see it so you see the drip honey do you see it super 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 cute do y'all see the eye design drip definitely check him out i'm going to leave his website and everything across the screen and in the description box below y'all make sure y'all check out my boy he also has a book called i decide it's a memoir so definitely when you go to his website get you a hat a t-shirt a bracelet and get you uh <laughs> go ahead and get you that, a copy of that book um, and Urban Culture Apparel is actually featured in the back of the book as well. So definitely cop that book, cop your hat, a t-shirt, all of that good stuff. Okay, y'all. So next up, we have We The Savvy. Um, here is her card. It's handcrafted with love in Houston, Texas. Uh, www.wethesavvy.com. Instagram is We The Savvy. 
Here's the card. Of course, I'll do just like I did for everybody else. I'll put it across the screen and I'll leave all the information in the description box below. But um, I purchased these items from Black Market Houston from um, We The Savvy. I met the young lady, so sweet, um, very high energy, love it. Um, and the hat is what actually caught my eye. So the hat is lime green and white. And I don't know, I'm just having this thing with lime green and green colors. I don't know, green. That means money. So I guess that's why I'm all for like all the green stuff. But the hat says manifest on it. I hope that y'all can see that. I hope that the light is not too bright. But the hat says manifest on it. And this hat caught my eye. So I had to grab it. But then when I picked up the hat, I looked over. And then I looked at her t-shirts that she had on the rack. And she had this t-shirt. And it says peace and blessings manifest with every lesson learned. And if you know, if you know, then you know, you know, you know, okay? That is from uh, an Erica Badu song, and I love me some Erica Badu. I had to support the young lady. I didn't get her name, but we the Savvy. I thought that the, that the business name was super, super cute. And I was like, oh, okay, Savvy, Savvy Chic. Okay, I, I got it, I got it. But yes, um, even on the inside of the shirts, there is uh, intact printing here, and I love this. That is such an awesome way to bring your business um, when you want, you know, when you want to get your business out there. So all of the, um, her website is right here on the inside of the t-shirt. I love that. I love it, love it, love it. I'm definitely going to rock this. This is going to be super cute. We the Savvy, that's the name of the brand. Next up, I have this really dope t-shirt. Um, and y'all, I do buy a lot of t-shirts. I love t-shirts because t-shirts are just so easy to dress up or dress down. I love these. And I, when I'm purchasing things, I think along the lines of what would look cute with what. So when I purchased this shirt, I was like, this would look so cute with like some camo pants. So that's why I got the color that I did. But it says Black History in the Making. And it is from blackmail.com, I want to say. I'm going to leave all the information right here on the screen and in the description box. In the making, I love the font. Um, I just, I love the color. It really caught my eye. Um, I support people who are doing positive things in the black community. And of course, because I am black history in the making, um, and that is a constant reminder that, you know, people are watching you all the time. You never know who's watching you, but you always, you always want to lead by example. Um, and that is a true statement and that is what I'm about, making statements, especially it being expressive through your clothing. So that's why I had to cop this t-shirt. So I'll leave all this information across the screen and the description box below so you guys can check him out. And lastly, for my black owned business haul, I had to support, support black collars in this all over the gram. Um, and I just had to go ahead and cop me a couple of these t-shirts, support black colleges. I love the theme, like the whole 90s theme that they have going on the graphics everything is just bomb um i did get two different sizes that i got one in the medium and one in the large because i didn't know how the t-shirts ran so i just got two different sizes or whatever so i may have to work my way down into one or you know you know finagle this one a little bit or whatever but it's it's all good but here on the front of the t-shirt um it says support black colleges with which is like their main symbol or logo um, that's like their main branding that they have on all of their clothes. And on the back, it has a list of every HBCU in the country listed on the back of this t-shirt. Um, and it's on the back of both the t-shirts. So I thought that was pretty cool. Love this brand. I love the idea of supporting Black Hot. Um, I love my experiences at both HBCUs that I attended. Although um, everything was not always peaches and cream, but I definitely earned degrees in patience, productivity, persistence, and perseverance for sure. Along with um, the, com the communications um, area of study that I chose. I definitely learned, um, I definitely earned degrees in those areas as well because sometimes the HBCUs, they will try you. But like I said, it's like family. Like, just like you have that favorite cousin that get on your nerves, that's just how it is at an HBCU. Like, everybody's like your favorite cousin, your favorite auntie, your favorite uncle that, you know, sometimes they get on your nerves, but you know what? They always got your back and you always got theirs. But yes, guys, that concludes my Bob haul my black owned business haul for today but it will definitely not be my last um if you guys know of any black owned businesses that you feel that i that i should support go ahead and leave it in the comment section below if you guys want to see more videos like that also leave that in the comment section below but until then 
don't forget to create your own type of beautiful i will see you guys next time thank you so much for tuning in and yeah i'll catch y'all in my next video peace